Hello and welcome to Inspiria TV. This is me Akriti Don and you are watching Newsmaker of the Week. So let's start with COVID-19 updates. In last 24 hours, 86,000 plus COVID cases have been recorded where the total figure of COVID cases has crossed over 58 lakh. The death toll is about 92,000 and more than 47 lakh people have been recovered so far. And India's testing figure has crossed 7 crore. Globally, there are 3 crore 22 lakh cases of COVID-19 with over 9,83,000 tests. India is the second worst affected country, but in the terms of uh, recoveries, India has the largest number of uh, recoveries in the world. Now, let's shift our focus to an important bill passed by the parliament. The parliament passed a bill on Wednesday for the inclusion of Kashmiri, Dogri and Hindi in the list of official languages in the Union Territory of Jammu and Kashmir in existing Urdu and English. The Jammu and Kashmir Official Languages Bill 2020 was passed by the Rajya Sabha through voice note. The Lok Sabha also cleared legislation on Tuesday. Now moving on, we will talk about a sad news. Junior Railway Minister Suresh Agnadi passed away at the age of 65 in Delhi Eames Hospital. He was being hospitalized after being tested positive for COVID-19 on 11th of September. Prime Minister along with other ministers paid the homage to late Minister. The Narcotics Control Bureau, that is NCB, has taken a major action on Wednesday on the drug connection that came to light in the death of Shushan Singh Rajput. The agency has summoned several top Bollywood actresses and called for questioning. Those who have been summoned, including the names of Deepika Padukone, Sara Ali Khan, Rakul Preet Singh and Shraddha Kapoor. Deepika Padukone has been summoned for questioning on 25th of September, whereas Sara Ali Khan and Shraddha Kapoor on 26th of September. The team of NCB, that is Narcotics Control Bureau, has arrived to serve the notice of Sara and Shraddha Kapoor. Many people, including Rhea Chakraborty, Shavik has been sent to jail in this case. So now let's shift our focus to the IPL updates. The first match of the IPL was played between Mumbai Indians and Chennai Super King and the match was won by Chennai Super King. The second match was played between Delhi Capitals versus Kings 11 Punjab. In that match, Delhi won the match in the Super Over. The third match was played between Royal Challengers Bangalore and Sunrisers Hyderabad and Royal Challengers won the game. So for more updates, keep watching Inspiria TV. Till then, stay safe. Thank you.